Today's physics game that I play is the water cycle puzzle. So what I need to do is to complete the water cycle diagram. This is how water moves in nature. So it is move in something that is called the water cycle. Now I have the arrows with the different names of the water transformation. Okay, I will begin from left to right. So the first one should be the sublimation. Now, sublimation is the process of snow and ice changing into water vapor in the air without first melting into water. What is that? Ah, there is a rabbit. Let's click it. Ah, it moved. Okay, I will leave it there so it doesn't interfere with the text. And that should be right here. Since I'm to the left, let's see. Oh, wait, uh, that was the deposition. The deposition is the process of water vapor changing directly into ice, such as snowflakes and frost. So these two are mutually different. And now let's see. Now we have the water. It, when the sun will shine, it will melt and it will become a runoff. A runoff. <coughs> I think uh, rivers are also called runoff. And the runoff is the water that is pulled by gravity across land surface, by rivers, yes, mm, replenishing water surface. So this water is going into the lake. Now let's move down and explore this lake. It also should receive uh, water from runoff, but from there it will make an infiltration. The infiltration happens when water soaks into the soil from the ground level. So it, uh, we, we have infiltration also under the ocean, right? But uh, let's continue from left to right. Now, the exchange underground is called uh, percolation. And this is percolation is the movement of water to the soil itself. Okay, so it fills one pot into another. And let me see, while I'm down, I will make the plant uptake. So a part of the water is going in the plants through the roots. And when I'm on the plants, after water is used, actually, uh, the, the plants need water mostly for transportation. So they need it to transport material from down to up. And then the water is no longer needed in general. So it is released by transpiration. So transpiration is the evaporation of water through minute, po minute pores or stam stamata mm -hmm, sorry, in the leaves of plants. All right. Now let's let me place the main thing. Uh, this is the evaporation. Evaporation is the process by which water changes from a liquid to a gas or vapor. It uh, can also almost become a cloud, but it also will need some condensation. Uh, actually, okay, uh, the condensation will be later. Now let's see the transportation. Transportation is water in different phases, phases moving through the atmosphere. atmosphere. And then it will need little condensation. Is the process by which water vapor in the air is changed into liquid water. And when it is liquid water, uh, it uh, by precipitation, which is the rain, is going back down to the ground in the rivers and again down up down up and so on all right 
these are the main stages of the water cycle. Also, this is the knowledge dosage for today. And let the force be with you.